Spin my clock, she can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop con, I pop pistols. What it do, YouTube? My name is Bear Witness. Welcome back to the channel. Now, they finally done it. Treyarch has finally done it. And I think this is absolutely. I think it's dope. It's got. It, honestly. I'm probably more hype about it than most people are, but if you guys are as hype as I am, make sure you guys leave a like down below. But, 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 but before we get into all that, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys go into the description down below so you guys can get entered into my $25 giveaway of a gift card of your choice. So, yeah, with that being said, let's get right into it. Now, the first thing that I want to talk about, or probably pretty much the only thing, the topic of the video is the new UI system coming to the Blackout Stash. Now, we haven't made a lot of blackout videos in race in recent times. I actually blackout's in a weird state, but currently I see that David Vonderhaar, I see that Call of Duty and Treyarch are trying to make strides to become a better game. And with that, I am very, very, very appreciative of that. And so um, I'm actually looking at the thing on my phone. So I, uh, at currently, I want to give you guys the best information possible. But Vonderhaar teased a new Blackout stash in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Now, this is something that we've actually been wanting for a very long time. Looting takes a very long time. Now, this isn't going to be a direct like fix to looting. But I'll give you guys an image on the screen right about here. So you guys can take a look at it. But it's a lot better you can see a lot more of the thing uh, of the of the system you guys can pick out directly what you want it's still pretty slow you know unlike h1z1 and fortnite but it's currently in qa testing so they're currently doing this testing right now and trying to get it ready for us so we can when when they said that they were testing the armor plates i think it was about a week before it was actually released so i think that we can expect that maybe around next week you know maybe early next week maybe I, I'm not positive, but what this does is it creates a little bit of a faster pace to an even to an already pretty fast paced game. But one of the biggest problems in Blackout is when you're trying to loot something and you have to scroll all the way through or things like that. Now with this, it looks like it's kind of kind of be like the menu uh, where you're able to kind of use the, the the circular cursor, and you guys are able to just kind of select what you want. There'll probably be a way for you guys to click, you know, maybe square or X or A um, on the item that you want to, you know, select the uh, corresponding thing. Um, hopefully, they don't make it to where it just goes into your stash. Because when I think about it, I'm like. How are you supposed to, with this, with this, how are you supposed to, is it just going to automatically attach the same weapon like it does now? Or are they going to fix it to where you have to, like, it just goes into your inventory and you get to select it using your hotbar? That's something that, you know, it, it equally wouldn't be that terrible of an idea, to be honest. So, um, yeah. If this doesn't work out, that's probably one that they could do. But nobody knows what it is yet. We haven't even seen actual gameplay footage of it yet. We only have that teased image so far. But... Like I was saying, it's really annoying when you're just trying to, you know, you're trying to loot and you're having to like literally stand or lay in the middle of an open area to even loot a bag or, you know, it, it, the, sometimes the bag glitches and you don't even get to have your stuff. So you have to spend extra time there. You know, this gives you a little bit more time to loot. It gives you a little bit uh, or a little bit faster looting so you can get back to the action so you can get back to checking your corners and things like that. So this is going to be a really really big quality of life thing but another thing that i kind of wanted to touch on guys in this video was the idea of call of duty going free to play now i want to know if you guys think this is a good idea so make sure you guys tell me what you guys think in the comment section below but if call of duty were to go free to play not call of duty itself the multiplayer aspect of it and things like that but if call of duty itself was to go to free to play then the idea or not call of duty itself i'm sorry then uh, if treyarch was to go free to play then the then then treyarch could literally focus on blackout even for the two years that it wasn't in the direct cycle so the blackout team could continue working on it now i just don't see the point in making a blackout too because i feel like that's kind of like oh well we're gonna take out blackout uh, uh for black ops three or black ops four and if we make a black ops five we're gonna make we're gonna make a new one it doesn't make sense because like it just it just doesn't make sense i think that personally they should go ahead and quit the or cut it out of the game itself like not, maybe not necessarily cut it out but make it its own standalone game now that can be problematic in a way but if for like the way fortnite did and the way PUBG is, like, they're not connected to actual AAA games. But 
a lot of people don't even enjoy Black Ops 4 as much anymore. Actually, I talk to a lot of people. I go into a lot of random lobbies and things like that. And a lot of people say the multiplayer is just very hard to deal with at a lot of times. Because it's not necessarily that, that the game itself is hard. But there are so many gimmicks and things like that based on specialists, based on weapon damage and things like that. That it's just not very fun it's just the same old thing and it's actually somewhat more frustrating because some of the uh, the specialists are really really op and hard to, to deal with at times that you kind of can't even ev evade it like you can't avoid it er at all but the thing is if they were to make this free not only would they have a healthy community that could stick with the game they could in, in fact get more people into the game which is, it's what you want. As a game developer, it's what you want. Now, the another big thing that I feel like they could do to make Blackout even better is if they did that, they should really focus on trying to make the character models and things like that, and, and like, third person. Like, why why not have an option that if, if you release the game on its own, then you should release it with a an option to have a third person availability because you know it wouldn't be the first time we've seen third person in cod in fact if you've been playing call of duty since modern warfare 2 they used to have a uh, uh, third person team tactical which was actually pretty dope i think the character models have gone so much further and that the game wouldn't look at nearly as clunky as they think it would i think that the game it would be very fun especially if they went from third person but when you aim in you're in first person i think that would be a really good way to go about it i think they have a big opportunity on their hands and they really don't take blackout as serious as they should but come the end of the year, it would be a great move for them to make Blackout free to play for everybody. It honestly could save Call of Duty because I can't imagine a lot of people being actually excited about, you know, other games considering, you know. Now, I didn't play it a lot, but I know that from what I saw of the people at the time, Infinite Warfare was a flop. World War II, uh, it could be considered a flop but that kind of depends on your personal opinion either way guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys are down in the comment section as soon as this video ends so you guys can tell me exactly what you guys think about whether call of duty should be free to play what you guys think about the new ui system and and if making a third person section is something that they should actually think about doing now like i said i think it's a good idea but i'm just me you know what i'm saying anyways if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys leave a like down below as well as clicking that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single one of my uploads. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.